I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. It's a Fenty Sunday because we are checking out the new Fenty concealer. I'm excited. I feel like I'm gonna like this one. I like the original concealer that they came out with, which I already feel is a pretty like natural concealer, but I think like I can see already where the differences are in this one. However, before we get started, Miss Once Upon a Time singer, come to the front of the classroom because why? Do the darker shades look like that so i actually went to go see it in person and i also believe that this concealer is supposed to be like a kind of color correcting one um hopefully it'll say that in the description when i read it so i can see why there might be a little more warmth than some of this but baby when i tell you like all the darker shades were giving brick red orange but a little variety and the thing is like there's supposed to be a variety because some of the shades are supposed to be like neutral i'll pop up because i was with um tasha andrea and we were using tasha's hand as a little you know the picture here those darker shades are like the the ones that look orangey in that picture are the darker shades the one that look you know lighter with a different undertone those are like the 300s i ended up having to go to 400 um to find a shade that's one going to brighten and two did not have you know that orangey warm undertone to it also the shades don't correlate so i i believe i wear 420 yeah i wear 420 in the original concealer so if you think like oh, if i'm 420 there i might be 420 in this new one no i had to go up to 400 in that one so we're gonna test that out but i still have good feel. i just want why why do all the darker shades look like that because you if you look at the the shades as they go up and there's not so much warmth in those, but you know. So so first we are going to do foundation. Y'all know I like to kind of balance it out. I'm doing a more lighter concealer then I might go a little harder with foundation. And since I'm using Fenty, I figured why not just use Fenty. So I'm going to use both the Blurring Skin Tint and aren't you like also blurring, but you're stick foundation. Yeah, the Blur and Smooth Skin Stick. So I'm gonna use these as foundation today. Just blend that out. This is my favorite foundation to wear, when, well, to bring with me when I travel. One, it's just really easy. You know, the packaging makes it really easy. Don't have to worry about it. Shattering, breaking, anything like that. But also, um, the finish, and usually if I do travel, it's somewhere warm. I've noticed I'm not really the cold travel type person, even though I'm trying to do a cold trip this year. Um, it just goes with the environment that I'm in. And then the stick. Oh, I was like, I forgot I bought. <laughs> something else while I was there. But now for the start of the show. So this is the Wear Even Hydrating Longwear Waterproof Concealer. This retails for $30 for nine ounces. And it comes in ooh, 50 shades. Okay. 50, but you know, we, mm. um, a 12 hour hydrating long wear concealer that comes in a wide range of medium coverage shades with a natural second skin finish formulation is liquid. This concealer melts into skin quickly and visibly evening, brightening and hiding dark circles and puffiness for up to 12 hours. The extreme long wear formula resists creasing, fading, sweat and humidity and won't settle into fine lines or accentuate skin texture. Plus it's transfer and water proof. So like I said, this is the concealer in the shade 400. So um, in that picture on Tasha's hand, that is the one that is 400 and this is what it looks like in person. You see that undertone? How it's not giving orange brick. Okay, let's blend you up. Okay. She blend, oh, sorry. Blending out real easily. All right. It is also a little lighter. 
than I thought it would have to go. But after CoverGirl, we saw, you know, maybe he's gotta trust the process. Baby, look how that's blending out. Okay, they did say melt into skin. Okay, it's, it's the under eye that be the real, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, who's that? Oh, and I got questions on what brush this is. The foundation and concealer brush that you see me using with this silver handle is from House Labs. Highly recommend. So, you know, I always do a little rough blend out with a brush and then go in with a sponge. Make sure it doesn't get in a little fold under my eye. See, that's what I mean by like rough blend out. You know, I just spread it out with a brush and then with a sponge blend. Baby, the makeup that I have tried so far this year is giving me a reason to be excited to try new makeup products again because I'm gonna go ahead and finish my entire face. I'm gonna use the, that might be it. That might be pushing it. I wanted to try the um, CoverGirl as contour that I just posted that video on, but I feel like I, I need some, well, let's go. Okay, so once again, tell me the makeup so far in 2024 has not been eating. The new products, because it, So it is, <laughs> had to block. It is 12.43. I'm gonna go let this wear on my face throughout the day and then I will come back later and give you my thoughts on this concealer. But fit. Oh. Okay, so it is 4.48 and this is what my face, hold on, get lighter, there we go. This is what my face looks like. Like my makeup has had the chance to really melt into my skin. Baby, look at this, look at my face. This is quite literally giving, you want a beat on your face, but you still want to give you that natural skin, you know. Clearly I'm wearing makeup, but if I said I woke up like this, it could still get that because it's giving very skin-like, which it said, it's, I believe it said it's going to give very skin-like finish. Excuse me, and I mean, technically, I don't think anything that I'm wearing since I did pair it with the Fenty foundations really promised that it would be mattifying anything. We are in winter as well, so I don't get as oily in winter, so I feel like for the next couple months. Um, you know, products in general, especially with the setting sprays that I use, stuff like that, like my, I will not be able to not control the oil on my face, but baby, look at it. <laughs> they did their big one with this one. I do think, like if I were to pull down, the skin that there is some product in there but we have been through this at this point like at some point if it's a fold there that you can it, like it's gonna get product in there i have come to terms with that but i'm letting you know that if you you know that's something that you're interested in knowing i think pairing it with the fenty products because usually like brands want their products to work really well together. So of course, you know, I will try it with other products. I've been using, so every every video that you guys have seen me post since the CoverGirl foundation one, I have been wearing the CoverGirl foundation in that video as well. So, you know, you also saw this finishes of, on my face days after with the wear test, stuff like that for that. So this concealer, baby, at least, you know, if you wanted to know, is it going to pair well with Fenty products? Yes. 
Also, I've never really had that happen where I've tried a product and I'm like, oh, this is amazing. This is the best thing since sliced bread. And I try it with, you know, I change one product and all of a sudden, like, I don't like it the same anymore. But I will try it with other products. But yeah, literally, I've just been looking at myself all day because, wait a minute. Mm. Okay, but I'm hungry. Oh, also, I did just cook. So I was standing over an oven, you know, heat, all that stuff coming over to your face. And literally, look how my face still looks. You see how light is just hitting off the, the certain highlights on my face? It's just getting very... Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so I I was just cooking, so I'm, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go cook. But that is it for this video. I think this might be... I'm And I've been pretty blown away with some of the stuff that I've tried uh, so far this year. And it's only the 14th, so we're only half well, halfway-ish into the first month. Um, but this right here... Like the CoverGirl foundation, those NYX sticks. I kind of want to see what it would work, how this would look if I kind of mix those two. Um, the shade ends up working out for me. I did use the CoverGirl contour stick today. Um, I just, yeah. We are literally starting the year out on a bang. I need y'all to keep this energy, okay? I need brands to keep this energy. I don't know what y'all would do in 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. But whatever y'all are doing right now, stick to it, okay? So that is it for this video. If, I, if you guys were looking to see how this product worked for me, my thoughts on it, I hope this video helped. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, your notification bells down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.